About two and a half years ago, the Center for Public Issues Education in Agriculture and Natural Resources was approached by the Florida Department of Health to research the messaging that was going on about mosquito control across the state. About that time, there was a Zika outbreak, and so some of the mosquito control districts around the state were facing some backlash about how they were addressing the issue of mosquito control in the state. So that actually led into two more uh, grant projects with the Florida Department of Health and the U.S. Department of Agriculture to look at how we can better message or how we can better communicate about mosquito control efforts around the state of Florida. What we did was that we created a, a program called Prevent and Protect. And so with this Prevent and Protect materials, we actually did some surveys, some focus groups of, of individuals around the state of Florida to find out how effective these messaging campaigns, communication campaigns were. We also looked at professionals in the mosquito control districts and the Florida Department of Health as well who deal with education and communication in their efforts about the challenges they're facing about mosquito control messages. We also created uh, educational materials for elementary school and middle schoolers about what to know about mosquito biology and what they can do at their own homes to help prevent mosquitoes from biting them and their parents. Such things as making sure that there are screens on their windows, making sure that you wear repellent uh, during those times of the day when mosquito populations are at their highest. And so all of these efforts and research have really paid off because we're able to create educational materials that are now being put on a website called preventmosquitoes.org. And so there are lesson plans for the elementary and middle school students. There are four very interactive type videos that uh, were produced. We also have uh, materials for mainly the mosquito control districts and Florida Department of Health and other entities that, that work interactively with individuals in their communities about how to communicate about mosquito control. One of the benefits of this particular website is that all the materials are in English and in Spanish and in Haitian Creole as a way to try to get as much information to different audiences to speak different languages as possible. What we've been able to see as a result of the research and educational efforts of the Prevent and Protect program is that individuals really do have a better understanding of why mosquito control is important in the state of Florida and how it affects the economy and the public health of individuals here in the state. We hope to continue this program by adding more materials for people to use to be able to better understand about mosquito control.